Okay, we're here at the Windsor Club with Maggie DeRoshi from the Windsor Parade Company, Corporation, sorry. And Maggie, uh, happy 150th birthday to you and your country. Oh, thank you so much, Joe. We are more than thrilled to have the opportunity to share it with the community. So tell us, what are some of the new and exciting features of this year's Summerfest? Um, one of the big uh, opportunities that we've had this summer is to work with the Multicultural Council of Windsor and Essex. And they have brought to us a number of um, new and exciting uh, entertainment groups for our stage during, uh, during our weekend presentations. We've brought in some, uh, some more entertainers from the Toronto area as well as local entertainers. We've got flyboarding again, but then it all ramps up and, and comes together uh, big time on Canada Day, and that's uh, something that we're really looking forward to. Of course, the parade is everybody's favorite with color commentary by you yourself. How can we go wrong? Um, I know that Mayor Dilkins has a number of people that he's looking uh, to bring from our sister cities. Following the parade, we're back down at the Festival Plaza, and what we're doing is we're encouraging, we've got an online campaign going called O Canada. You can sign up, everybody, right, you know, depending upon your, your singing style, whether you're a soprano or an alto, you sign up, and then it's going to be one huge mash of humanity singing O Canada, accompanied by uh, Windsor's own uh, Diplomat Drum and Bugle Corps. Um, the rest of the afternoon on stage is entertainment, and then our first showing of our brand new event this year, Canada 150 in Sound and Light, which is a multi-dimensional, multi-media um, representation of Windsor and Essex County over the last 150 years. We have uh, reenactors, we have live presentations, music. Uh, the music during the presentation is brought to us with uh, Music Express. And then at the very end of it, we have a culmination of a number of bands, Music Express, The Diplomats, uh, Sun Parlor Pipes and Drums, and a major playing of O Canada with uh, the big Canadian flag as our backdrop. Are we going to have horses involved this year? We will have horses in the parade, yes. Uh, I do know that our friend Sarah Parks and uh, Off-Kilter Equine will be joining us. We've got some inflatables. Um, so that's, we're looking forward to all of that. And of course, the dog lovers want to know a famous act that's always part of your parades and uh, Summerfest. Are they back this year? Yes, Border City Barkers will be there joining us uh, one weekend down at the Festival Plaza. We'll see them in the parade as well. So it's going to be a great day. As if it's on cue in the background, we see a tug. Are we going to have the traditional <laughs> tugboat races? Yes, the tugboat race. Uh, gets underway on June the 24th and we're looking forward to that. And are we evening up the score with the uh, U.S. people with that uh, traditional tug of war this year? Not happening we, this year? We, the tug of war was only, has only been with Summerfest one year. Okay. Uh, and it tends to happen more around the Blues Fest the time, Blues right? Fest yeah. Is, uh, that's one of their partner activities. So what do you think of the new flag downtown? Well, I'm, uh, I've <laughs> had done a little bit of work with them. Um, when they were showcasing the project, we did use our big flag kind of as a, as a focal point for people to understand how big that flag was going to be. I think it's amazing, and I uh, actually was standing beside my good friend Pete Rostovic and Claire the Clown, one of our favorites, <laughs> holding on to the flag as it started to go up that flagpole, and I, uh, I, I have to say I got a little misty-eyed because we've never seen our flag fly mm -hmm. because it, it's not made to, to be on a flagpole, but to see one the same size going up that, and I, I can certainly appreciate the efforts of that group and everything they did. To make that possible. I think it's amazing. It's really kind of cool to know that Windsor is the home to two of the most iconic flags in the country. Absolutely. So now one last thing uh, with the fireworks. So what, uh, what day is the fireworks this year? The fireworks are June the 26th. Ford fireworks are June the 26th. Uh, we know that we'll have tons and tons of people along the riverfront. Uh, as we have done in the last number of years, we will be hosting the Windsor Riverfront Fireworks Party. The best seats, the best view, the best party. Right on the riverfront, awesome opportunity. And what's the website that they can go to get information on that and all the events? Everything is at www.summerfestwindsor.org or follow us on Facebook or Twitter at Windsor Summerfest. So now listen, I know you always have your ear to the ground. Have you heard from your American counterparts whether there's going to be a Canada 150 theme to the fireworks? Um, they are, there will be some, some special effects for Canada 150. You can't I'm not telling you anymore. <laughs> oh, no, you can't spill the beans. No, I can't. No, put me away. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, um, I guess on behalf of all of us, thank you for what you do in the community. Um, it's not just at this time of year, it's throughout the year. And you're one of the unheralded uh, uh, organizations, but you do so much for the community. Oh, thank you. Okay. Appreciate Thanks, it. Maggie. All right.